This post-match report is proudly brought to you by Complete Sports Management, More Footy, Less Admin and Stat Guru. When numbers matter. This is Aditya here from Fernet Park. I'm here with the coach of Ashburton. Man, a pretty disappointing game for you all today. Yeah, look, it's uh, it's always disappointing when you don't get the win. Um, but we will take a lot of positive out of this. I thought the boys matched them for most of the game. Just a couple of key mistakes really hurt us. Uh, late goal, second quarter, just before half time, probably probably really put the uh, the sword in our back and crippled us because they came out after half time, all guns blazing, and that's probably where we lost it today. But I'll sit down, I'll have a look at the uh, at the balls and who I, who I felt played well and we'll learn from it and we'll, we'll move on to next week and hopefully get the Chockeys next week. So, you think, what postures could you take out from this game from, from your aspect? I feel like we really started to find our identity as a team. We, um, we're really preaching to the boys to run. Run, take the game on, uh, handball receives come from the back half and I thought we had a couple of boys really embrace that style of play and really excel at it today. Um, I thought Nick Caruso, uh, Jordan Diarsi off the halfback flanks today were outstanding for us with that run and carry. And I feel as a team, we're really starting to find that type of footy and really starting to excel and learn that's how we want to play and that's how we're going to get the chockies. So a couple of good players from Levin, Ritchie and Dahlstrom. Yeah, yeah. Harry's a, Harry's a good one. We like him on the wing because I don't think I've ever seen a kid his age run as fast as he does. And we preach to him every time you get the ball, just go, just get it and run. And... Oh. He's, he takes them on and it's awesome to see. And Benny Richter, he's a little crafty bloke up forward, which we like. He, uh, he applies good forward 50 pressure, which is one of the big things we want. We want us to be manic up forward and he, he really excels it with his tackling. And obviously Dalstrom's a gun. He's very good young footballer. And we're very happy to have him in the side. He can play centre-half back, he can play half-back flank, he can play centre-half forward. As you saw today, he killed it for us at centre-half forward. So we just got to keep working with him, make him get a bit more of the footy and we'll be stoked. I think Levin's tackle was pretty appreciated by everyone. Yeah, we, we like that when the boys get around and get in tough like that. I really appreciate the guys that we've got to be hard at the footy and hard to play against, and he really excelled at it today, I felt. So next week, you have the Surrey Panthers. How, what is going to be preparation for that? We're going to just get on the track. Hopefully all the boys will be there this Wednesday, Wednesday and it won't be hailing on us. Um, and we'll just practicing, as I said, that run and gun style of footy, and we'll really try and get that... that uh, identity for our team going and, and get that game going. Thanks mate. This is Aditya signing off from Ferndale Park. Until next time, bye. Welcome everyone. My name is Damon Bradakis here at Ferndale Park where Bulleen have got the job done over Ashburton by 34 points. I'm here with coach Andrew. Andrew, uh, you were on top for most of the day. Uh, was it pleasing? Yeah, it was good to um, come away with the four points. I thought the boys worked pretty hard throughout the day. So, yeah, they came at us a fair, fair few times throughout the game and it was good to see us answer and then um, respond in a positive fashion. Yeah, uh, early in that last quarter, it was almost... They came out in a real hurry. They kicked that early goal and it looked like they were really going to get a surge on, but the boys held strong and kicked a key goal uh, midway through that last quarter. And then from then on, the result was really not in doubt. Yeah, it was, it was pleasing to see that our leaders sort of stepped up when they got a bit of a run on. So it was, it was good to see, especially after last week, you know, the guys to hold strong. Well, you know, it's pretty easy to get a few self-doubts, but the boys fought, fought it out till the end. So real proud of the guys' effort. So it was a tough game. So it was very physical out there. So it was good to watch. Anthony, excuse my pronunciation, De Propertis. De Propertis. De Propertis uh, thought he was best on grounds today. He's run on that outer wing and got a nice goal for himself in that last quarter to top things off. Uh, what did you think of his performance? Yeah, uh, and to answer uh, one of our vice captains, he's a, he's a great player and we really missed him, like not having him, we didn't have him in round one, so it makes a big difference, he's a big body and uh, he works really hard and he's a good team player, so I thought he was fantastic today, he was, he was um, probably best on in my books as well, so yeah, he, he means a lot to the boys to have him out there, so it was good. Uh, back to that surge in the last quarter, at three quarter time, did, did you remind the boys of last week at all or did you put that past them what was your attitude going into that, going about that no i didn't didn't really talk about it or anything but i think it was uh in in the boys mind and uh, i think that we just wanted to play a four quarter effort and all we wanted to do was just be able to walk off the field regardless of the result knowing that we played four quarters that that was our, our aim for the day so 
Yeah, and, and to their credit, they fought it out till the end. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with the guys, actually. Well, thank you for your time, Andrew. Uh, my name's Dan Bradakis from Complete Sports Management. The Bulland Bullants have defeated the Ash Ashburton by 34 points in a convincing performance. We'll see you next week. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.